Welcome to another day in pre-K with Miss Susie. Hi, pre-kenders. Welcome back. Let's do our Days of the Week song so we know what today is. Days of the Week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the Week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Sing with me now. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. All right. If yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday. It is Wednesday, February 24th. It has been 24 days of February. And we are learning about tubes and antennas again. Let's look at our question of the day. Our question of the day is, where can we find this tube in our house? And do you know what wraps around this tube? Let me know. Okay, when you're done answering the question of the day, you can review the number two and mom with Miss Joa. And then you can also re-listen to the story as we go to Mexico. For literacy, you can practice your alliteration cards that look like this. You have them. Remember, alliteration are words that start the same, like apple, alligator, start the same. Apple, alligator, start the same. Ah, ah, so that's why they start the same. So I want you to listen for the beginning sounds and point to the picture that starts the same. Okay, and then for math today, you're going to compare people in your family to see who's heavier. So you can tell in this picture, the elephant is heavier than the rabbit. That's why the elephant is going down more and the rabbit is staying up because the elephant weighs more and the rabbit weighs less. And so in your family, if you have a weight scale, you can step on it to see who weighs more. The more someone weighs, the higher the number goes up. And those two people I want you to compare is first your mom and dad, who's heavier, your mommy or your daddy. Second, who do you think is heavier? You or your brother or you or your sister? Let me know, okay? And if you don't know, you can usually tell if someone's heavier by how big they are. If they're much bigger, taller, they might be heavier. If you're not sure, you can always use a weight scale to tell if someone's heavier. And if you don't have a weight scale, it's okay. You can just guess based on how big someone is by trying to carry someone, you can say, oh, you feel much more heavy. Or you can try carrying someone, and, oh, you're light. It's not too heavy to carry you. So sometimes you can use your muscles too to tell if someone's heavier or lighter. All right, and then for our fine motor activity today, we're going to be making A, B, C patterns. Last time we learned about A, B patterns. A, B patterns are two objects that repeat itself again and again and again. A, B, C is the same, but now it's three objects that repeat itself again and again and again. For your ABC bead pattern, you can find three different color beads and you can repeat the beads one or two more times. If you can't find any beads, you can also cut paper strips. You can 
cut paper strips like the one in the picture, the red and yellow. You can find three different colored pieces of paper and cut them into long skinny strips and cut them into small squares and put them into a pattern like the one I have on the side. And if you don't have any colored paper, you can also cut out white paper strips and you could color each strip a different color. So you can choose three strips with three different colors and you can cut them into squares and lay them out in a pattern, just like the one I have here. Yellow, red, blue, yellow, red, blue, and it repeats itself again, yellow, red, blue. All right, have fun making your pattern. Okay, when you're done with your ABC pattern, we're going to review sight words. And you can also work on your new sight words today. The sight word we have today is I, I am your teacher. And the next one is of. And so you can, you can practice reading your words and then you can find your, your packet. So this is your packet, and you can look for the word I and of, and it should be on page four and five. So this is I, page four. You can practice tracing the word I, and you can practice reading them. And then this is the word of. You can practice tracing the word and practice reading it in the sentence. And that's it for today, boys and girls. I hope you have a great day. Bye.